Hello, my name is Frank, and in this video I will explain how to clean and perform low-level disinfection of a Philips ultrasound transducer, its cable and connector, in the correct way. Cleaning the transducer after each exam is an essential step for effective infection control. Using an incorrect process, material or fluids, can damage the contact surface or lens of the transducer. A damaged contact surface or lens can influence the image quality and in many cases will cause artifacts in the ultrasound image. This video on how to clean a transducer does not apply to endocavity and transesophageal transducers or intraoperative needle guidance and biopsy applications. When you are finished with your exam, use a soft moist or damp cloth which is lint-free and non-abrasive, to carefully wipe off the remaining gel from the contact surface and housing of the transducer. When cleaning the contact surface, do not twist the transducer, but wipe the gel off parallel to the contact surface. Do not use any paper or other material with a rough surface, because they can cause damage to the contact surface or lens of the transducer. If you want or need to clean the cable, Make sure to lift the cable from the cable support or deattach the cable from the easy clip cable management before cleaning the cable with a soft cloth. When you are done wiping off the gel, low level disinfection is the next step. To disinfect a transducer, you can use a spray or wipe procedure. When using a spray, spray some fluid on a soft cloth, clean the transducer and cable and allow to air dry. Use the same technique as before and wipe the cloth parallel to the contact surface. Do not twist when disinfecting the transducer and do not use paper or other material with a rough surface, like an abrasive sponge in combination with the spray to disinfect the transducer and the cable. When using a wipe, take the wipe out of its container and carefully wipe the transducer and cable, again using the same technique as before when disinfecting the contact surface of the transducer. If you want to disinfect the connector housing, first press freeze on the control panel and disconnect the transducer from the system. Spray some fluid on a soft cloth or take the wipe out of the container and clean the outer surface of the connector. Do not use paper or other material with a rough surface, like an abrasive sponge in combination with the spray to disinfect the connector. Do not allow any type of fluid to enter through the electrical pins of the connector, since this can have serious consequences for the functionality of the transducer. When using a wipe or spray disinfectant for the transducer, the cable and connector, always read the disinfectant label instructions for temperature, wipe durations and duration of disinfectant contact. Philips advises a disinfecting procedure of the transducer to ensure a high degree of protection against infectious disease transmission. All tested and approved solutions per transducer can be found in a document called Disinfectants and Cleaning Solutions for Ultrasound Systems and Transducers. Make sure to read this document before cleaning your transducer. Please scan the QR code, which you will now see appearing below. To retrieve this document or visit the site www.philips.com slash transducercare. You can also ask your local Philips representative to supply this document to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.